in this video we are going to see how to use the collision detection patch and detect the collision through patch editor and increase the score so let's go into the video hi guys in this video we are going to see how to use the collision detection 2d patch so what is collision detection basically so collision detection is like when two objects overlap on each other then it is considered as collision so when both the objects share the same space on the space so it is considered as collision for example if two cars collide onto each other it is occupying the same space both at a time so both are coinciding on each other like overlaying on each other so that is called basically the collision so for games the collision detection is basically if the object two objects overlay us on each other it is considered either we can just count it as a score or we can count it as a defeat something like this it depends on the games the collision detection is differs so for example for a shooter game when the bullet touches the user it is considered as a collision and the points will be redu reduced whereas for a game where the user jumps or collects a coin that is con that collision is considered as scores so based on the collision type or based on the games the collision changes but in this tutorial what we are going to see is how to use the 2d collision detection patch so i have modified this patch so that it is easily usable for both planes as well as rectangle so if you are using it for planes you can mark zero over here whereas if you are using it on rectangles that is both the collision whatever things you are playing to consider this as a player and this as the object if you are using a plane for that then make the this value zero or if you are making uh, with play a rectangle make this value one so this patch is actually made by uh, a guy from the group so i'll link his uh, instagram on the description below so you can just go and follow him so this is basically what this does is it checks whether the both the objects are overlaying on each other so i improved few aspects of this patch so that we can use this for both plane as well as rectangle so for example let's see what is what is happening over here so now i've just connected it to the rectangle so i'll be keep this as one here and what i'm doing is whenever the collision is happening the score will increase so you can see the score incremental patch editor work on my another video which i will link in the description below as well as the i card so what happens is let's see a demo so these two are the two rectangles so what happens is the when the user is consider this two rectangles and it is overlaying on each other even like very minutely it overlays on this both so it is considered the collision is seen so there is a border of which basically around the border whenever it touches the score is increasing you can just go around anything is considered as collision so you can see the score is increasing because this again and again it's touching and not touching it so how to use basically use this thing so this patch has two aspects the object position and the object size so the object 1 and object 2 are basically this is considered as object 1 for this case and rectangle 1 is considered as object 2 so if we are using rectangles the size is like 100 is to 100 is basically 1 is to 1 ratio so we have to put 1 is to 1 uh, and this is nothing but we are passing the rectangle as value from the patch code so let me go to that position later so first we'll just see what is happening over here so in this what happens is we are pass, passing the current position of the object one and the object one size that is 100 100 is to 100 that is 1 is to 1 and over here this is object 2 the object 2 is rectangle one in this case so that size is also 
100 is 200 so we are just putting 1 is 1 so if I'm changing the size of this like 200 is to 200 and I have to update the corresponding value to it so you can see that based on the value I give given up it's updating so you can just see the collision is happening based on it the borders will be like seen so consider this I'm just reducing it like 50 50 is to 50 so I'll put 0.5 so we have to update the value whenever we change the size of it so after that if you like you can just see it here that whenever it is touching the value is changing so based on the rectangle size the ratio, basic ratio is 100 is to 100 ratio which is considered as 1 is to 1 so based on the size as well as the position this checks the x and y coordinates whether two two objects are like overlaying on the same space or same thing so that is considered as a collision so these are two are the main aspects so let's see how the plane works so for plane what we have to do is basically we are like we can just change it like the settings here to zero because this basically does all the work for you I will hide these two things and unhide these two planes restart it so here the ratio is like 1 is to 1 is basically 1 and 1 so if you are changing something here you have to update it over here too so even if you are like seeing here I'll just make it bigger so this is overlaying on each other so whenever it is tapping or touching each other it is considered as a count that is it is considered as a collision so the score is increasing so you can use this setup to make the score so first we'll see what is happening here as this is actually a, a boolean value which is we are passing it to a pulse because a counter only accepts the pulse type for increasing or decreasing so if you are counting a point or doing something consider if, uh, for few types if you have a user is jumping on a what spike if the user touches the spike you can reduce the point by maybe like in your connecting this pulse to the decrease point so whenever the collision happens the value is reducing whereas if it is a coin we can just increase it so using this setup we can just increase the score based on it so this as I told before this setting is basically we are increasing the score and we are changing the value to the through the patch editor and we are updating it on the screen on the 2d element so this is the basic setup you can just see where basically we are just giving the uh, value from the script that is the plane 0 is considered as object 1 and plane 1 is considered as object 2 so based on it we are changing the values of the this ratio so if you are putting 0 you have to give the value of the plane if you are putting 1 we have to give the value of the rectangle if you are like miss uh, we are not putting it properly then the uh, collision detection will not happen properly so what we can do is that you can just follow the same method and you can just do the thing so now go we can just go into the script part so on the script have one two script element that is basically we are sending the numbers and we are converting it to, into a text so that is happening that is basically is a separate video which i'll link in the description below and these four are the the objects which i am talking about so the ob1 is the plane 0 the ob2 is plane 1 and r1 is rectangle 0 and r2 is rectangle 1 so basically these two are the elements which is considered we are going to like move and see the collision happening as we have seen the demo over here let's go into the code part and see what is happening over there for this tutorial we are just making the 2d vectors so first we will see the is this 
score updating so on my previous video i've just made it look more uh, less optimizable that is i used a monitor so we can use that method or either you can use this method also what we are doing it here is basically we are getting the 2d text over here and we are getting the score over here so as the score is a integer value that is numbers we are getting it a scalar value and we are changing it into a string and we are adding it directly so this step is used for incrementing the score whatever is coming through the patch so so these lines is the one which is sending the value of x and y to the patch uh, patch editor so let's consider like 0 1 so whenever we move the object the value here will be dynamically increasing so for example the value of the y is 0 0.04 so i'm just moving the y axis you can see the value of y is uh, dynamically changing so based on that only the score is increasing that is the collision is happening so in order to do this what we are doing is we are passing the x and y coordinates of these planes as well as the rectangle from the patch from the code to the patch so that is what happening here so what we are doing is we are creating a patch element and we are setting the value for 0.2d value so the 0.2d value is basically for sending the vector value we are going to make the two arguments other other than the two arguments we are making it into a packing everything into a single argument so in this case we are sending two arguments that is the 2d value and the object so the 2d value is packed inside the this part and so this everything consider is as a one attribute and this is considered as an one attribute so this to uh, set point 2d value is basically to send any 2d vector value to the code patch editor so here as we seen before these are 2d vectors that is x and y we are using x and y alone so here we are using the 2d vectors so in this code what i did is basically I'm just calling the sending the value to whatever we are name we are putting here and we are creating a reactive we are calling the reactive module insert that we are calling the point 2d method so what this method is basically it put combines two scalar values and it makes into a vector 2 so as I told before the any this point set point 2d value I only can have two attributes that is so the receiver and the value so the receiver is going to be ob1 and the value is going to be packed in a single in a single way that is in a vector 2d form so for that we are using point 2d again r dot point 2d and inside that we are getting the trans uh, x and y value so as i told before s is the short form of scene module so we are finding the scene and we are going to the root and we are finding the plane 0 so that is we are finding the from the top we are finding the plane 0 and in that plane 0 what we are doing is we are getting going to the transform property so these are the transformation properties so on that transform property we are going to the x part so the x axis is basically whatever axis over your position is considered as x so if it is if you may ask what do you call for scale or do you call for rotation so i'll do a separate for video for the transformation property alone so for this case for this tutorial we'll stick on to the position so the position what is basically is that the x and y axis is under the transform value so in order to access that we are going through scene root and we are finding the whatever element we want and then transform of that element and x value similarly we are doing it for y so all the four is are doing the similar things but the only thing is the receiver and the sender's value is different that is each has their own receiver different receivers that is these two are for planes and these two are for rectangles so we are we have to put the corresponding name 
in this slots so this for eight lines of code is what is making this collision work so consider your game is like the user is uh, moving the head like that or something and the when the two things collide the score has to increase so using this method whenever the uh, collision is happening the score will increase automatically so you can use this technique to for your game and you can create cool stuff with it so you can find this patch on the github repository which i'll link in the description and the original creator of this patches i just link his instagram account in the description below so disclaimer i've asked permission from the user the creator of this patch to use this and modify the statement so you can download the patch from the description github repository from the description below so for this i'm going to try a new thing where you can always come and see the tutorials because this makes it easy for you to learn instead of downloading it and you reusing it so this doesn't have any other setups i need so basically we are sending the values to the patch and we are just incrementing it the values so if you like this video like it share it and subscribe to the channel thank you